welcome to Erin. My name is Slime and we're fixing slime right now. This slime is extremely boring, but also extremely beautiful. Somehow it's both at the same time. Today we're going to be fixing it. Slime is not supposed to do that. It should not be sticking to you this much. And if you get your slime at home and it's sticking to you that much, that's a problem. You need some drum roll activator. Of course, I'm gonna need a lot more than an activator pen. So I'm gonna use a big old cup of it. The backstory of this slime is that Christian made it. I believe it is an entire bag full of pigment. Honestly, gorgeous, but it is so boring. But here at the beginning of our day, I'm going to set my intentions for this video. Let's take a minute, calm down. My intentions today are to fix my slimes in a minimalistic and aesthetic way. I've been told by the comments and I read all of your comments that when I fix my slimes, I occasionally add too much color, too much scent, too many charms. So today's intentions are to not do that. We're going to be fixing these slimes minimalistically and making them gorgeous. Now that I've added all my activator, it's time for the is this slime activated test. If I put my hand in, let it sink in, pull it out. It's not sticking to it, it's good. Now it's time to think of a theme. This is a white sparkly slime. It could be unicorn horn, it could be Edward's skin, it could be glistening sidewalk. What if we did glistening sidewalk? What do you think of that? Boo! Ooh. I'm getting bad feedback on my sidewalk idea. Nobody in the room likes it, fine. But you know what, you guys? I'm about to teach you a very important lesson today. And that lesson is don't listen to the haters. And by haters, I mean Dan. So we're going for glistening sidewalk on a sunny day slime. So let's go grab our charms. And to keep the slime theme going in this video, let's take a form of transportation that you would commonly use on a sidewalk, which is... Alright guys, it's time for business. On the ripstick, on the winter charm bill. I ran into the door. Sidewalk? There are leaves on sidewalks. Sometimes? Sometimes sidewalks also exist in the same area where clouds can be above the sidewalk. This sidewalk is in a residential district. So there's a singular cactus. Maybe he lives there. <gasps> Maybe he lives there. I'll just do a cop out like I always do and I'll just get adorable characters and they will be walking down the sidewalk. There are definitely bees on sidewalks. Not only walking down them, but also stinging people. I've been stung by a bee on a sidewalk. Is that true? Did I just lie? No, I have. A frog, 100%. I've seen frogs on sidewalks all the time. Found some adorable dog charms because where do dogs get walked? Sidewalks, that's right everybody, good job. I remembered that I also added to this idea that it was a sunny day. We need a sun charm. Right here, says that it's a sun charm. To me, this absolutely looks like a flower, but I'm not seeing any other sun charms around, so I'm gonna go with this. Just know, if you don't think this looks like a sun, neither do I. So we have our array of charms. But first, I would like to add some landscaping to this sidewalk. Okay, so there's a crack. It's gonna seal up, but it's okay. Yeah, whatever. To set the scene, so we have the sun shining down onto the sidewalk, making it glisten. Our clouds, I know this is confusing that there's clouds, it's a sunny day, but it's part of the aesthetic. This is in a highly populated area by trees and not people. So there's some leaves here that have fallen onto the sidewalk. How aesthetic is that? Right here on the sidewalk, there is a small storefront and outside a cactus. And over here, there's a frog. Here is the bee problem that we were talking about. Careful if you're walking down this street. And then the focal point of this slime to really emphasize the fact that this is a sidewalk. If it wasn't already so obvious, there are some dogs being walked down the sidewalk. There we have it. This slime is probably like 100 to 200% better than when I found it. It is so clearly a beautiful sidewalk on a happy summer day. This is the worst. So happy with this one. Thank you guys for fixing it with me. But the next one is going to be a much bigger challenge. I think this is Anna's Mean Girls slime, I believe. I need to pick out all of this stuff. We gotta take out all this extra stuff make it a much more minimal slime. But this is a lot of slime to change the color of. So it is time to use the mixer. I 
didn't do quite as much as I expected. I added a lot of white pigment and it is still semi-dark, but it is a different color. Fantastic texture, I must say. We're already on to the theme part of this slime. That was so fast. This slime reminds me most of a couch. You see that, right? Let's go find some couch charms. I really have been fixing these graveyard slimes for a while. As you know, I'm on the, the slime fixing force that includes packages you guys send and slimes we've made. And honestly, it might be time to retire. I'm thinking that these graveyard videos may be coming to an end. Don't worry, you guys. <laughs> Comment down below right now, anything you want me to do with slime, I will do it for the YouTube videos and any ideas that you have of things that we could do with our graveyard slimes if we're not fixing them. I want you guys to be a part of this next graveyard slime journey that we're about to go on. Anyways, teddy bears definitely would be on a couch. Are you kidding me? You know what else is on my couch right now, actually? I have a stuffed frog on my couch. What do you have on your couch? Spacey. Spacey! If you guys don't know, Spacey is Anna's dog and also a widely loved animal at Peachy Babies. She is small and brown. We don't have a brown dog charm, but I feel like this otter looks kind of like her. It's perfect. Do you agree? That literally looks like Spacey. Okay, it's Anna approved, so it is going on my couch. While we were on the topic of animals, my cat Marie and my other cat, Miss Business, who is a boy, also both love to sit on my couch, so I'll definitely be adding them. Okay, I grabbed a couple more things that are going to be a surprise and you will see when we get back to the table and assemble it. So let's go do that right now. Time for the most exciting part of any slime to assemble the charms. So of course, my stuffed frog is going up there. Then we have two stuffies for me and two stuffies that Anna said she has on her couch. Of course, her dog Spacey on her side, my cat on my side. And this is the part that you guys didn't see. I'm adding some little game controllers because the best place to play video games typically on a couch. Also the egg. Once upon a time, I had a kitchen and a couch and they were too close to each other. One time I was making breakfast, I crack an egg open, it slid down the counter onto my couch and stained it and I was renting. That couch was not mine, but I hit it. Jesus, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but that's right where it was. Oh, this looks so bad. You guys, I've lost my touch. I'm really not meant for this whole minimalistic slime making thing. So for this last slime that we're about to do, I'm gonna go back to my roots and you're gonna see what happens when you're true to yourself and you truly follow your dreams instead of what everyone around you is telling you. Time for our next slime. Here is our final slime of the day. I think I might have actually already fixed this slime. Yeah, I did already fix this slime. But when a slime sits for too long, it's time to fix it again. Let's see how the texture is. Is it too sticky? No, it's actually perfectly activated. My main problems here are the theming. Also, there's bubbles everywhere. And instead of just taking these bubbles off, I think it's time to do something new. I'm gonna take my finger and just try to make these bubbles look like waves. Like there's a storm on the ocean. But wait, I'm not making an ocean slime, you guys. Don't think that. I'm gonna make my little waves here. Make it look like a beautiful stormy ocean day. This is the base of what we're working with today. But we're gonna need a bit more because this is a big extravagant slime. So in the very beginning of this video, when I said I'm doing a sidewalk slime, what I really wanted to do was actually a boardwalk slime. And if you don't know what a boardwalk is, it's like a sidewalk, but next to the ocean. So here's the ocean part. Let's go add the board part. Here is a a portion of the slime that I just fixed. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, it's beautiful. Mr. Frog hanging out. Makes sense why there's a frog there, right? Frogs don't live in the ocean, but he does. He's crazy. Remember when I said that there's a little store here and so this cactus is out front? So here's the cactus out front, but it's time to go to Charmville and grab all the stuff that's going to go into the store. And I have a really good idea of what I'm gonna grab already. Earlier, when I was out here with Anna, I saw a brand new charm that I've never seen before. Bunny macarons or macaroons, depending on how you pronounce it. I've never seen this charm before. It is so adorable. And that inspired me to make the shop that the cactus is outside of is going to be a little bakery. Some of these, this, I think these are whipped cream, but I'm gonna pretend that they are, when you whip up egg whites, I don't remember what they're called, but you probably do, I don't know. Then I'm adding in some of these bunny toasts. These guys are so freaking cute, adorable. They'll be perfect. I also wanna add some chocolate cookies. So we're gonna grab some bubbles because it's storming. Some whales. I always grab whales. For a pop of color, I'm gonna grab some of these pink starfish. I think that'll do it. Let's go assemble. 
We're gonna start off out in the stormy ocean, adding in those bubbles that I was talking about. These happy little whales are in the ocean. And then of course, these little guys to add some color to the ocean. It's time for the bake shop. These are the walls. The walls are made of cookies because it's a bakery. So obviously the walls are made of cookies. This is the storefront. These are the, the bears that guard the front door. They're also part of the ball. It's kind of like Abercrombie and Fitch where those shirtless dudes stand outside, but they're just shirtless bears instead. And then here are all of the little, actually, is that Abercrombie? It's Hollister. <laughs> all of these adorable little bunnies that I found. And then these are the little meringues that are being sold there. That's the word, I found it out. I didn't remember it, I had to ask somebody. Here to bring everything together at the end, we have our little cactus. Once upon a time I said he was at a storefront, you're probably wondering, what storefront? I'll never know, it's just in my imagination, but you were wrong, we brought it to you. <laughs> now you know, it was a little bake shop that seems to be melting into the sidewalk. And that, there you have it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment more things you want me to do with these graveyard slimes and I'm gonna see you next week. There you go.